What's up everyone and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a very special video because I just arrived in Bandung. I've got this recommended so many times that I needed to visit the city and finally I made it. I'm here and I'm going to show you guys around. interrupted because I need to wear my mask that's mandatory here in Bandung it's super important that you wear your mask because otherwise they won't be happy here so what I wanted to say is that our good friend Adam he lived here for such a long time and right now he's going to show us around and he's gonna show us the best places that we need to visit in Bandung I'm so excited because I already feel like this city has so much to offer all right we made it to our first stop which is Gedung Sate it's called and this is one of the most popular places here in Bandung so we're gonna check it out right now and it already looks amazing I'm super curious why it's called Sate so I'm gonna figure that out now because normally you never hear that something a building is called Sate but it looks so amazing I just figured out why it's called Sate so maybe you can see in the back there's all the way on top there it's symbolic for Sate and that's why it's called like that unfortunately we cannot go in because I'm dressed like this I have short pants on I didn't know so I'm not properly dressed so we cannot go in but that's okay we can still have a look from outside and we can see how it looks like because it's amazing Is that right now we are in the province of West Java and I just hear that the governor of West Java this is his office so I wish my office looked like this unfortunately that's not the case but it only shows that it's a super important building and yeah it's just stunning it's you see that it's really well maintained and that important people come here the interesting thing is that we just arrived here in Bandung and there is already such a big difference between Jakarta and Bandung I feel like Bandung is smaller, just a bit more cozy. I feel like I love the coziness of the city. There is a lot of traffic, as you can see behind me, but it's still not comparable to Jakarta because in Jakarta was way more traffic. Jill, what do you think is like the big difference between Jakarta and Bandung? I would say that here it's uh, less busy. So in Jakarta, it's very, very busy. And here I find it peaceful. Yeah. And I find it a bit, I have a Europe vibe. A little bit, yeah, right? with the green. I just and said Bandung is so cozy. Yeah, it's cozy. Like, I really yeah. like it. There's way more life on the streets. It's less formal as well. Yeah. That's the thing, right? I really like it. I would, if I would have to choose between Jakarta and Bandung, I would choose to live in Bandung just because it's more cozy. It feels more friendly. I cannot really explain, but it's my first impression. I like better, Bandung or Jakarta? Bandung, of course, because yeah? uh, you know, life in Jakarta Jakarta is too intense and the other favorite why I love Bandung because the food Ooh, I already yeah. imagine like what kind of food that I want to eat okay we managed to cross the road safely and now we are at this park which is called Gazebu right now they are running and I see lots of people exercising outside here which I really love it shows that there's a community feeling and that people are working out together here it's a really safe and nice feeling and I do have to say everything is here so clean because normally you can have these parts and it can be full of trash and bad people hanging around and I don't have that feeling here at all as you can see there are young people here running around they having a rest they just had a big workout and I think it's such a nice atmosphere that's here I do have to say you don't really like to be in the camera but yeah. thank you so much for yeah, showing us around you're very welcome. you are born here Definitely so you are the expert and he is showing us the absolute best places and I'm <laughs> so happy with you by my side because now oh my god wow we see the good places yeah. here <laughs> Jill and I 
were just talking and actually Bandung, one of the first impressions we have is that it has a very European vibe, right? Yeah. Also with the parks and it's pretty clean. It's all a bit like small scale, so it's not as big as in Jakarta. And I feel like they're also less high buildings. It's all a bit like built lower. It's very European. That's and it's the very European clear, vibe. Like sunny. In Jakarta, there is no sun because exactly of the, the air is here way better than Fresher. in Jakarta. Fresh air. That's what we need. Is that what we need? That's what we want. <laughs> And Braga Street is famous for all of its amazing restaurants. It's apparently a super popular spot for the locals to come here. And we are now gonna explore around. We're gonna walk around a little bit and hopefully get some local food because apparently there are lots of local famous rooms here. So I am more than excited to try it out because as you all know by now, I am a big food. That was so it's nice! So <laughs> so nice. <laughs> they just started to sing? Yeah, they just right? started to sing and, and dance. dance. Oh my god, I love the vibe Aww. here. It's so nice! They were so, they were so sweet. Wow, I love it. This is such a nice atmosphere walking around here in Braga Street. <laughs> Oh my god, I am amazed. Look at the art that we have here. This is so beautiful. This, there's so much art in here actually and I am in love because these are paintings that I actually like. Unfortunately, I can't buy but I see they have this really big shop here with all the same paintings and it's so beautiful. It's actually funny because we just passed a street that's Asia Africa and it's called like that because that's where the first Asian African conference took place. If I say it correctly and you see a lot of Asian African influence and there are also lots of Asian African dishes there and restaurants so I'm also excited to try that out and it only shows how diverse Bandung is. There's lots of creativity here, I see lots of paintings so there's such a nice atmosphere here. So we arrived at one of the most famous restaurants in this street. It is called Braga Per Mai. It is open since 1918, so that's super long. And they still have the same recipe here. So I would say it's time to check this place out and see what all the fuss is about. So this place is Dutch owned. And Jill and I, as you know, are both from the Netherlands. Yeah and we ordered just bitterballen and poffertjes. I'll put a picture of the both of them here. You cannot have more typical Dutch snacks and I cannot wait to let my other friends who are all from Indonesia try these snacks because they're so good. I haven't had them in a really long time since I've been living in Mali for over a year now. So I'm excited that we can try this here and that there's this Dutch restaurant in Braga and it's also super popular. Bittelball it just arrived. It's such a typical Dutch snack. I do have to say they look a bit different here. But as you can see, we call it the Friese Vlog. In English it's called Frisian Flag, but in Dutch we call it the Friese Vlog, which is a province in the Netherlands. So you can see the Dutch influence here. Really excited how these are gonna taste, if they taste the same as in the Netherlands. So this is how these bitter balls look like. And then this is how they look in the Netherlands normally. So there is a bit of a difference, but still, they can be the same taste, who knows? Some dreams actually come true. Right now I ordered these snacks here and I'm gonna try them together with Vishnu, as you all know, and Adam. I'm so excited, so guys. And then shall we try the bitter from Bitter Baller first? So here you go. Okay. I love it. Here we go. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, they are different, I have to say, from oh, the Netherlands. No how do you say what's inside? I don't even know. Beef? Some kind of beef ragu. Beef ragu, yeah. You like it? I like it. What nice. about you? To be honest, this is my first time. Yeah. So I have no idea what's inside this, but it's like exploding cheese, so... Nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. What would you rate it if you have to give it a number? Uh, this is my very first time, but I love it. It's 
very nice. You have to try, guys. Yes! Oh my god, oh. I'm so happy. You? I think I'm gonna give it 8.5. Okay, yeah. I can live with 8.5. Yeah. Then the puffer chest, they look a bit different. So this is how they look like. Normally in the Netherlands, they're completely flat, but it's still worth it to try them out. Okay, let's see. Yep. Oh, they're good. This is a good puffer chest flavor. This is how you would get them in the Netherlands as well. Only a different how they look like, but they're so nice. What do you think? Uh, it's like a donut? It's like a small pancake, actually. Small yeah, yeah, it's literally a pancake, but done smaller, right? It has the same ingredients, I think. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Sweet, nice. You guys, like yeah, you like it? Yay! And you? Yeah, worth it. <laughs> I'm What's happy! It? I just love eating Dutch food here in Indonesia. This is such a good experience and I definitely recommend if you are in Braga Street to come to Braga Per Mai to this restaurant because oh my god, I love it. Their quality of the food is really really good. Okay, we had way too much fun at this restaurant. It's already dark outside but still we want to explore the rest of Braga Street. So right now we're leaving and we're gonna explore the last bits of Braga Street. Shopping mall? Yeah. Oh. Go inside? No, sure. yeah, why not? Let's go inside for a bit. I'm curious. That's so cool. But we have to cross the street here. <laughs> and the street is super busy as you can see. We have to, we have to walk a little bit further. Hati hati, makasi. Oh, makasi. Yeah. We have our mask. Mask. This mall is so nice. There's so many clothes. Prices are pretty cheap. And there's so many famous brands in here. And I'm just really surprised by the prices and the atmosphere. It's a super clean mall. There's so many good things that you can buy here. And it's also not too busy, which I really, really love. I like this. Can I see how it looks like? Oh, I like it. That is so nice. It's only a bit too small for me. So right now in this mall, I see Kopi Kanangan. It looks like this. And I actually got this recommended from one of my followers on Instagram that I should go here. And I love to listen to you guys. So I'm gonna have a coffee now and drink it while I'm walking. I'm really curious if this coffee is so good because right now Kopi Kanangan, they don't have it in Bali yet. They only have it in Java. And I am going to check it out now. It's still open. It's only open until 9.30, so I'm gonna see what the fuss is all about here. What is Kopi Kendangan Mantan? It's uh, palm sugar. Oh, yes. coffee with palm sugar. Yes. Is there milk with it as well? Yes, milk. Okay, uh, let's try that one out. That's recommended. Okay. Oh, okay. You have an application Kopi Kendangan? Okay, I just heard that Kopi Kendangan, they're gonna open in Kuta in a month. So when that will happen, I will definitely be there. Two Kopi Kendangan Mantan are 18k per coffee. So that's really cheap actually. So it's 36k for Jill and me to pay right now. And yeah, that's a really cheap price for coffee to pay. Makasih ya. Makasih. Okay, so it looks like this. It's a lot of coffee actually for only 18k. That really surprised me. Look. Oh, and I think this is the palm sugar at the bottom. Let's try. I'm so curious for this, so let's see. Mm. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, it's super sweet actually. I think it's because the palm sugar is really sweet, but this coffee is for me 10 out of 10. Oh it's my literally God. such good coffee. Oh my coffee. God, and when you're saying that, it really is a 10 out of 10 because you're a real coffee lover. I know, lover. I'm such a coffee lover and I think it's okay, so important. Okay, then I'm important. very excited because I'm a coffee lover too. Right, and it's only 17K, so I think this is a I didn't jackpot. expect anything about right? this. It's so oh my God. And only 70k, okay. From now on, this is gonna be my new favorite coffee. Oh I'm sorry, God. Starbucks. I'm sorry, whoever else. But this is my thank new favorite coffee. Thank you so coffee. much, follower of thank Gypsy Sneakers. Thank you so much. I wish we remember your name. But thank you so much for the recommendation. We made it to the end of Braga Street because as you can see, the statue is right behind me and that is the end of Braga Street. So we cannot walk any further. We're gonna go to our car right now. I had so much fun the first day exploring Bandung and there's still so much more to explore but i want to say thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next bandung adventure